something. We, we, and we started recording, and we started singing. We went on the road. You love to be such a thrill. This is Cal Street and Bertha Barbie McNeil, two of the five original members of legendary Motown group, The Velvelettes. That's what I want. Bertha started playing piano at nine with dreams to become a music composer. So she headed to Western Michigan University for college and met Cal's sister, Mildred. The Alpha Phi Alpha fraternity, they were going to give a talent show. And me and Mildred and the girls heard about it. We thought, and they were going to give, as Cal had mentioned, $25 to the first <laughs> At 20 students, you know. <laughs> that was a lot of money for us. The two recruited Norma Barbie, Bertha's cousin, along with Mildred's younger sister, Cal, and Betty Kelly, Cal's childhood friend. Shortly after, the group was born just in time for the talent show. And take my advice. The talent show they ended up winning and then meeting their ticket to Motown, Barry Gordy's nephew, Robert Bullock. He says, you know, you all are so good. You sound so good. I, I, I want you to audition for my uncle's record company. Now, what is Motown? We said mm -hmm. Motown. What's Motown? After months of convincing Cal's father to bring them to Detroit, they finally got their shot, driving five hours from Kalamazoo to Detroit in a snowstorm to audition. 2648 West Grand Boulevard, I'll never forget it as long as I live. On the building, it was written Hitsville, USA. And I think uh, the A or the S or the U it one was them. one of them was either broken or falling down or something. So, you know, this is our first sight of Motown. The group signed with Motown in late 1962 and started recording in the new year, eventually losing Betty Kelly, who joined Martha in the Vandellas. The Valvolettes reached the Billboard charts with Needle in a Haystack in 1964, and then in 1967, they decided to devote their time to their families and careers, quitting Motown. Just fate had it, had it for us to just be there and be a part of Motown, and to this day, especially with it uh, having the impact on music that it has today, I'm just thankful to God that uh, he allowed us the opportunity to be a part of Motown and be a Motown, Motown alums. Mm -hmm. Reporting in Kalamazoo, Lauren Coomer, Fox 17 News.